Doesn't every writer want their own specific room? Hello everyone, welcome back to An Artist Travels. My name is Nikki and today I'm going to be vlogging a very exciting, well I'm not going to be vlogging the whole thing today, but this vlog <laughs> is going to be a two week vlog two whole weeks. I'm currently in Newcastle, yes I am baby. I'm in Newcastle for the very first time. I'm in Newcastle for two weeks working on a new theatre piece um, in which I will be in the room as a playwright and a dramaturg. And for those of you who don't know what dramaturgy is, I don't know why I started that sentence because now I have to explain what it is and I'm just thinking of like explaining it in a non-theatrical context. Oh okay the best way I can think of explaining it is you're kind of looking at I'm trying very hard not to say the dramaturgy of the piece. Um, it's someone who can come in and give a slightly more of an outside eye than a director will. So you look at, you know, is everything flowing well? Is the structure of the piece making sense? Are we communicating what we need to communicate? Um, are any parts of this play, I don't know, triggering or problematic or something like that? Have we done the research that we need? Is it com is it making sense? Think of it as like an editor um, of a book because I know I have a lot of writers. On here as well who watch my channel yeah think of it as like an editor um for when you have a writing project so that's what i'm doing playwriting and doing some dramaturgy i'm really excited to be up here for two weeks i'm in newcastle baby wow two weeks feels like a long i don't know why it feels long but yeah it's really exciting um it's really cool to um work in a space of like amazing people in a new place for the first time if this looks like uni accommodation it's because it is student accommodation and there's a train station right out there so you can probably hear that but what i thought i would do because i traveled up yesterday and i was like i'm not filming um, i thought i would just chat with you and let you know how the first day went but yeah today was the first day of rehearsal got back um not that long ago it was really really good we heard the script be read out loud for the first time that I wrote and it was awesome it's just um it's a really special moment to hear your script be read aloud and brought to life by um actors actresses like it's just it's so exciting and it just yeah it brings the script to life you know when you hear you know you write something with a particular rhythm and then just to hear someone really like make that rhythm work and make a piece their own and be grappling with the rhythm and add like some flavor and personality and stuff and you hear the jokes aloud and it's funnier than you anticipated and like it just it it's so helpful and so useful so i'm really excited for these two weeks um working with a wonderful group of theater makers um yeah just a, a really lovely space um quite an inclusive space a very diverse space well, some people i've met before some people i have never met face to face some people i know of their work and we've never like actually met face to face so this is like really exciting we're meeting up here in newcastle and um, yeah i'm really excited to learn and play and create i think we have some very strong brains in the room we have great brains in the room which might sound like a weird phrase but i'm just really excited for what comes of these two weeks it's a devised process um that has been part devised part scripted and i'm just i'm just excited to see how it goes and for anyone who doesn't know what devised theater is it's um i guess uh, it's a more a newer way of making theater oh it's not as new as sometimes i'm tempted to think it is like um but yeah it's essentially this way of like creating more from a concept or an idea perhaps an image or something like that from start to the way it's still a weekend yeah. We're not going to talk about the desk, <laughs> but the floor is mostly clear now. Yay! I mean, the floor is clear. <laughs> it is quarter to eight. I have work to do, but I'm going to go do that. There's like a communal space. I'm going to do that there. And then I need to have dinner. And if I have time tonight, I'm going to try and get some video editing done. I have so much editing that I need to do, like so much so much and i just have not had time which is great and cool i'm very happy about that because i've just been working and doing what i love and like i'm just so thankful to god for a steady like for steady jobs for steady creative jobs it's amazing so yeah that's the agenda for this evening dinner work that i need to do if we can fit it in we'll do some video editing I also brought my memoir 
I don't want to like show you too much, but I have a printed copy of my memoir that I'm holding right now. Ah, exciting. Um, and my idea is to work on it in the evenings when I can. We'll see, or maybe at the weekend. The weekend sounds a little bit more likely. I've been looking forward to doing some more vlogging um, during the next couple of weeks and showing you outside a bit more. It's been raining all day and now the sun wants to come out. I walked home in the rain. I was very cold. And now the sun is out. And now I'm looking all sun-kissed and great. <laughs> okay, work time. I need a one dance, got a hand in my hand, one more time I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hello, it is day three of the R&D. Um, I'm in the writer's room at the moment. Um, people are rehearsing next door, but I thought I'd come to this room and just do work on the script. I'm in such a good mood today. I feel so hype, I feel so happy. Um, I think, I'm just so happy, God is good. Like, I think I've just been a bit more tired the last two days. Today I have so much energy and I feel like yesterday was I did a lot of like thinking and planning and research and today I have more clarity as to where the script should go so that's what i'm working on and then i'm going to pop back into the rehearsal room and rejoin everyone and just discuss ideas and see where they're at and things like that but um yeah i'm really excited so yeah speaking of it this room is really nice i feel like this is such a writer's um they've got lo loads of different writer rooms around the theater and oh, isn't that so nice doesn't every writer want their own specific room i feel like they do <laughs> What you call them? Not fajitas, tortillas? Tortilla wraps for now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got some peppers, got some onions. Let's go, bun. Let's go, bunny. Let's go, honey. Let's go. <laughs> train track. And you get cards that tell you where you need to build the train track from and to. So, like, I might be going from like Edinburgh and I've got to go all the way to like Prague. Mm -hmm. and, but there's like different coloured bits of track. There's like, um, different things that you can play at certain times. This sounds really like, familiar. I feel like yeah. I've played this. It's epic. It's so mammoth. Like it's it's like a night thing, like you do it in the evening. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's magic. really addictive and you get like hop into it. Yeah. And it's like yeah, it's a good board. What's it called? Ticket to ride. Ticket to ride. Oh, banging in So you can get America, oh, I get, like, Hi Caitlin. Just like one country. <laughs> <laughs> He really wanted to surprise you. I was like, they all know I'll film it. I was like, you don't. How you doing? Hi. Good. Do you, how are you feeling about the show? You know, like a board game. I'm feeling like we're yeah. enough time. There's not enough time. In London, they've they got. Um, Yesterday, when I realised it was Thursday, yeah. I was like, yeah. what do you mean? <laughs> I thought it was Wednesday. Yeah, literally, I was like, Yeah, the big part, and then the two burnouts. I was like, It's Friday morning. So, I think we'll just sit and go play ball games with people. Yeah, just kind of mark out the rest of it to the end. Then Monday, we have to do it. Yeah, which I think is fine. I think because I feel like burnout is more physical than script. Because it's quite short, like, so like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Every week, we get food for ourselves out. So, like, you can right. obviously so, <laughs> <laughs> actually write the script. Yeah. Every little aisle, so good. And then, and then, and then and we found this game. Monday, Tuesday, next week, we'll be like, yeah, we're working it out. 
Yeah. 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 I think I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. We're gonna pull it together. We're gonna do this. <laughs> exactly. This perfect. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think it'll be good. Do you have anyone who's like coming? Like really, people um, wrong, and we were like, no, 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 no. We're just maybe inviting like three days. Then we're not the cars. No, I'm excited. We get. Oh, well, that's so fun. Three days. Hello. Okay, so it's the end of week one. Um, everyone's gone home, as you can clearly see. But I thought I'd just record a quick thing, just for you to see our rehearsal room, which is massive. Like it's amazing in the live theatre. Um, We've been working here. This is where the actors have been performing. Um, we have some really cool like tech. Oh, I think we took it, but we have a, um, a looping station, which is so fun. I'll have to show you how that works. And then this over here is like a map out of the whole show um, to figure out. Really enjoying this piece. Fantastic group of people to work with. The week has gone so quickly. We got to the end of the play today. We've just been going through each scene, sort of marking it, and I've been making tweaks to the script as we go along because the aim of this R&D is to come out of it with a finished script. So the script is being tweaked, edited, made better. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm like finding new things in the script, even though I wrote it, which I love, 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 love. It's really cool when you go, oh yeah, that means that. <laughs> which sounds weird but like sometimes that happens when you write a script um i'm trying to think of what else to update you on I, there's something really cool which maybe i'll talk about later but uh, about being a playwright and i just so for me y'all know y'all know i always talk about it on this channel about how god is the ultimate creator and this let there be light and uh, there's like the whole of Genesis is just creation, right? And like being a playwright feels a little bit like um, taking on that divine creative spirit because it's literally like I will write something in a script and the next day it'll appear like this silver bin. I wrote there is a silver bin and Nick, our amazing designer, brought in a silver bin. It's like, let there be this and that, and it appears. And that feels really, really cool. I need to start packing up now. I just had an audition, which is why I'm <laughs> still here. Um, so we finished rehearsal, then I had an audition online immediately after, and the theater were really nice to say, we'll keep the theater open an extra 50 minutes. In fact, apparently it worked out really well for them because um, someone was gonna go have dinner. So they were like, yeah, stay an extra 15 minutes. The audition um, was like pretty quick. And I'm now going straight into another meeting. I literally need to run back to our, back to our accommodation and I have another meeting. It's been a busy day. We started earlier today as well. We started an hour, hour earlier, half an hour earlier. So it's been a busy day. I still have a lot of energy though, so praise God. And yeah, the week's gone really well. This week I totally did not just drop the camera onto the table. Um, this weekend I'm going to see if I can find more of, like just explore a bit more about Newcastle. I think I've got everything. No, I do not. Need my camera case, BRB. You know what, I left my strawberries in the kitchen. I might go grab them. Hello, focus. Okay, great. I'm off, just letting you know. No problem. Thank you. Have a good weekend. You too, bye. editing my first ever podcast episode woo, 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 woo. um 
Yay, it was so exciting. So massive thank you to Poppy for being my first ever guest on the inaugural episode. And I've just finished editing it and I'm really excited and it was super fun to do and yeah. <laughs> So I've decided to go for both a video and an audio format because y'all know I wasn't going to leave y'all out. I'm not going to leave y'all out. I'm going to give y'all some video content too. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. So I'm just going to save this now. I've saved it in audio and I'm going to save it in video. Lighting in this corner is so orange, but I'm also so here for it. All right, train. All right. Yeah, keep going. Just keep on moving. Keep on moving. Okay, so it's almost the evening and I'm going to go outside. It's a Saturday, so I've got the whole weekend off, which is good because I feel like I need to rest and recuperate. And I've been in this room pretty much all day and I don't think that's the most healthy thing to be doing today. I feel like I need to get out, get some fresh air. It was raining in the morning, but it's cleared up a bit. So it's not hot, warm or anything, but we're still gonna go out. I have a lovely friend slash subscriber. I don't know how, I wanna say friend, but I don't know if that's weird. <laughs> you know who you are. And I asked him a little while ago for places in Newcastle that he would recommend that someone go to. And I'm here now and one of the places was Grey Street. So I'm gonna check it out now and I'll probably go back tomorrow when it's like in the day, but I'm excited to go find it. Um, our director, Caitlin, also recommended Grey Street, which is apparently in one of the top 10 nicest streets in England, like the whole of England. So this better be good, okay, I'm hype. I'm hype, <laughs> Jacob, I'm hype, okay? So this better be good, I'm excited. Um, let's go.
So behind me is the live theatre where we're rehearsing. Fashion. <laughs> Let's go, beach time. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I feel like such a vlogger right now. <laughs> it's like I am a vlogger, but I feel like a vlogger now. Mm, fashion. Let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> the colors of some of these rocks. <laughs> Made it. It looks so relaxing. <laughs> it is. Also, it's Loki reminding me of Titanic and like. Yeah. They could have both fit on the plank. <laughs> <laughs> Hey yeah, we just got back from rehearsals. It's the first day of week two. Today was such an intense day. We were, it's funny how, you know, <laughs> it's funny how theater works and like, because we've gotten through multiple scenes every single day last week. Like I would say maybe like an average of three scenes. And then this one scene has taken us two days and it's just because it's quite a meaty. It's a huge part. It's a very important part of the play. Um, and we were all clearly tired. We left Friday night just being like, let's come back to this with fresh ideas and then started tackling it in the morning. And we were all just like, what? But we got to the end of the play today. Woo, praise God, I'm so excited. And I'm really happy. And I have a lot of writing to do because um, I've been doing a lot of dramaturgy and being like in the room as um, the director's working with the actors. And in the back of my mind, I'm also like, I need to go write <laughs> and today our director was like okay I need to put aside some time for you so you can write this and I was like yes please but I need to have it finished by tomorrow evening so <laughs> so I did lots of writing this afternoon and then I've got loads of writing to do tomorrow um it's going to be quite intense but you know I like it I love this um it's going to be super fun and yeah and what's really quite nice about devising is that so part of writing is thinking like I take time to think and plan and then write, you know, and in devising your kind and you're doing the thinking as a group, you know, in a community um, collaboratively. So actually part of that process of writing has been done as a group. Some of it has been done. And so it does make sometimes the writing process easier, but it's, it's a, yeah, it's an interesting one, like writing in um, such a short period of time because I love it. And also at the same time, sometimes you want more time to think. Um, and it's very go, 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 go. So yeah, I'm hungry. Um, I'm gonna make dinner. I need to rest my brain a bit. Yeah, maybe like watch a TV show or something. And then there's some stuff I wanna do this evening. Um, God has been really good because I'm so busy that I haven't had the time to look up a few things that I need to look up. And literally everyone just keeps sending things to me and I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, you've done the hard part of the work. And I also received some really great news today. Um, oh my gosh. Like it hasn't sunk in how amazing this is. God is so good, like it just, 
it hasn't sunk in to be honest like i will scream when it fully sinks in i'm so happy um so yeah anyway i'm gonna make dinner now and i'll speak to y'all when i pick up the camera next i don't know when that is i'm tired i'm, I'm tired <laughs> Hello, it's the end of day eight of rehearsal. Did so much writing today. Got the script done, so I'm super excited. Ahead of tomorrow, we're well, pretty to get out. And um, really good day. Um, loads of writing for me. And then there was like sort of mapping out, like doing blocking today with the actors. We had a photographer come in, so it was creating a trailer for the show today. That took up the afternoon. Um, I had some stuff to do but I was so exhausted and I was like I need to do it tonight um, but I was thinking maybe should I rest and do it in the morning and then I got a message from our director saying like oh we're gonna start a little bit later tomorrow so if I want to come in a bit later and I was like yes I'm absolutely knackered I'm gonna take advantage of that and what I think I'm gonna do is sleep early tonight and then wake up early do the thing that i want to do and then go into rehearsal seeing as we're starting a little bit later so that's the plan i'm actually knackered so i'm actually gonna relax and what's the word rewind wind down today <laughs> this evening um oh i'm so tired but literally so thankful to god that we're starting later and that i can actually wind down and i have um a an echo falls strawberry thing i think it's really pretty <laughs> um yeah we'll see how this goes how cute is this this is adorable and i think i'm gonna do that and just like watch some video maybe watch some tv that's proper relaxing i haven't actually turned on the tv yet yeah. I have ice cream as well. Yes, fam. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. Oh. Did it? Yeah, okay. Okay, well, that didn't work, but never mind. Let's go get some ice cream. Hello, I'm just in the writer's room. Um, I just thought I'd just show you real quick what I'm up to. So, I have three big edits that I want to make before tomorrow to the script and then I have three mini edits that I'm going to do right now because that will take like really not long at all I just need to do them and then I'm doing research and then I have extra thoughts for later on but that's all fine but basically yeah I'm quite happy we've got like I'm not going to show you like the details but like three ideas for extra scenes and then three ideas for mini edits and then links to useful articles. We just did our dress run and it went really well. The actors smashed it. It was so cool. And yeah, I just had that moment at the end of it or like towards the end where I thought to myself, I just wrote a dang play, <laughs> which is so funny. And I was so hyped and like, I've written loads of plays. I think there's just that moment when you see something and you're like, oh my gosh, I wrote a dang play and everything comes to life and the rhythm is there and like the lighting is there and everything's there. You're like, I did good, <laughs> I did good. <laughs> Not in an arrogant way, but like, I think the piece is really cool and everyone's done a great job. So yeah, so we've got uh, the actual live stream in, I think like, yeah, we've got a whole three hours, so gonna have lunch, have a little chat with everyone, and yeah, God is good.